Yeah, it's been a quiet morning in terms of patient care, which is mm. a great thing, obviously, for the people of London. But what we're talking about today so far is just really what happens in the background. So we've done our car checks this morning. The aircraft was actually, unfortunately, offline uh, for a couple of hours this morning due to a mechanical uh, incident. Mm. Uh, we talk about how we go through our daily checklist. We talk about the drugs that we carry. We've replaced the blood on board. So lots of things that happen behind the scenes that people won't necessarily be aware of. Um, all designed to promote the charity and the work that we do away from patients as well as the patient care we deliver in the capital every day. Yeah, a bit of a warts and all, which is, yeah. which is always interesting to people. But actually, the fact that it went offline this morning and there were a, was a mechanical problem highlights the bigger issue here. And it's, it's all really about trying to raise more money. Yeah, it is. It's all part of our campaign for that much needed second helicopter. But you're right, the irony this morning is that when we launched the Tweetathon, the helicopter wasn't there. It didn't come into the Royal London helipad around 8 o'clock this morning as it normally does. Mm. There was a small issue with the harness for one of the pilots you know we don't compromise anything in terms of safety for the crew or the aircraft um, but it does absolutely highlight the need that we need that second helicopter and that gives us resilience and gives us 100 percent coverage during the daytime for the people of london with 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 a helicopter yeah on, on average how often is the helicopter in use yeah so the service is a 24 7 service it's a helicopter during the daytime and it's uh, response cars at night we're deployed on average around five times a day those are the sickest people in london right. helicopter will do two to three of those jobs the cars will pick up the slack and do the other two to three every single 24-hour period. So when it's not in use, there are times when obviously people who are in desperate need of being taken to hospital very quickly uh, struggle. Yeah, I mean, it is a struggle. We don't want to kind of scare people with that message. We're 24-7 regardless. So this morning we're on the response cars. But of course, the point is, even under blue lights, to get to, you know, another side of London from where the crew might be based, you know, that can take 45, 50 minutes. So, you know, we believe very much in the concept of the golden hour. Much of that time has elapsed before we can get the car crew there. That's why we fly the helicopter. It's eight times quicker in an aircraft across London than it is in a response car. So people will get the right care. It just may take us a little bit longer to get there. And that's why we need that second helicopter. Yeah, and so uh, they're, they're not cheap. We all know no, this. No, they're not cheap. <clears throat> but you are making progress we are. towards getting there. Can you give us an update in terms of where you are? I can. So we went out to the public and the businesses of London around uh, the new year and asked for £6 million to acquire that second aircraft and keep us fully sustainable on that second helicopter for five years. Delighted to say we're about £3.9 million raised into that £6 million target. Right. We have therefore £2.1 million to go. Uh, we're still very receptive therefore to donations and support. Uh, check the website for details. But we're certainly progressing and we hope to have something more positive to say about the acquisition of the second helicopter very soon. Okay, interesting. Keep us posted on that one. Very quickly, just before we go, sure. uh, the hashtag then, if people want to see the tweets, Absolutely. It is. Social media, it's hashtag your helicopter live under London's Air Ambulance on the social media feeds.